back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bill. If you're not new here, then definitely thanks for checking back in with us, guys. I'll definitely appreciate all the view time, likes, and comments you guys are giving us. Um, so today, we are in Midland again uh, on this awesomely gloomy, miserable day. I mean, it's decently warm for what it's been lately. I think today it's in the 50s. It might have cooled off since the rain come in. But, uh, I mean, I left the house wearing basketball shorts. It was warm enough, in my opinion, that I could try and get away with it. I hope it don't get too cool. I guess, worst case, Josh's garage has a heater. It won't be an issue for me. I can just con him into spending a little bit extra money to heat the garage up and just shut the door. But, uh, yeah, so we're in town today. We're going to try and get some work done on the Supra. We are going to try and figure out what's going on with the wide band. We're going to get the caliper swapped over, those wires that we ran for the fuel pressure sensor and the... Um, and the cam sensor we're gonna go ahead and get those wrapped in and covered up i don't know why i had the signal on there but uh but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and get all that stuff done hopefully see if we can get the wideband reading correctly today i don't know if we're gonna try and put it on the road um just because it's raining uh, i don't even know i know the wipers work on the car i don't know if he has good ones i don't know how they're gonna work i mean the car's probably got to be washed anyway and it ain't got a moonroof so there's probably another good reason there why we ain't gonna put it on the road but um yeah, so we're going to try and get all that stuff buttoned up today and see what we can come up with. I'll bring you guys back in once I go ahead and finish my awesome... So that's what we're going to try and get done today. I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring you guys back in once we get to the garage after I'm done eating my awesome rallies that we picked up today. Gotta love rallies. Rallies fries are the best. But yeah, I will uh, definitely bring you guys back in. Just be ready. All this COVID shutdown stuff and delays has actually kind of been delaying my parts. I'm still waiting on my turbo from Turbo Bay, unfortunately. The uh, bell mouse that I ordered from Ram Air that were coming from the UK, they're in Detroit, or they were Friday. Uh, they were supposed to be in Allen Park. I was hoping they'd show up today, but it says they're moving from facility to facility, so I might see them on Monday or Tuesday. I'm hoping, uh, according to the shipping uh, tracking label, I was actually supposed to see them last Friday, so we're, we're over a week behind where we're at on that. So as soon as I get those, I can hopefully try and get those guys going and get that uh, headlight intakes done and then what I'm gonna probably end up doing tomorrow while we're home is I'm gonna end up hopefully going over to my parents and borrowing my dad's jigsaw and then I'm gonna try and get the oh I missed my turn but I'm going to try and get the Lexon cut that way I can go ahead and get those back windows and everything done and if I need to get my car outside because some friends are bringing their stuff over I won't be worried about getting water inside so Hopefully we can get that process going here. We gotta turn around this guy's driveway. Give me a second. Who the hell is this guy? There's some punk ass kid with damn neon, that's who it is. But anyway, so now that we're turning around, um, so I had the radio down so there wouldn't be too much background noise on this one. Hopefully the car's not too loud where you guys can still hear me.
back out here today with Josh's garage. We're gonna try and get some work done on the Supra. He ended up ordering pins so we can go ahead and get the fuel pressure sensor fixed. So we got a couple extra bodies and two different size pins. He wasn't sure which ones we needed, so we're good to go there. Uh, some of the terminals were damaged when they were trying to pin this before because they didn't have the actual terminal crimping tool. So we're gonna get that redone, get that all taken care of so we're not worried about a wire pulling out and shutting the ECM down on us or causing any issues while we're trying to tune. So we're gonna get that corrected. We're gonna try and change the oil feed line on the turbo. We do have another one here, it's a little bit shorter that we're gonna try and use, reroute it, see if we can gain some clearance around the water neck and the manifold because it does rub down in here and I wanna get that fixed. Uh, we're also, we're gonna wire up the Innovate today to the AEM and then see what the AEM sensor is gonna read. If we did kill the other sensor and this one reads good, we'll probably just run with it. So that's pretty much all we're gonna be doing today is just a little bit of wiring with the ECU. Um, like I said, we're gonna try and run that feed wire over from the Innovate to the connector here. We already got the pin pointed or pinned out at the, e or at the ECM itself. All we gotta do is add it to the jumper harness. So pretty much we're, we're uh, just trying to get some wiring done here today and then make sure that we get all our sensors and everything to read right, get that oil line changed so we're not leaking because we do have a small drip down where it comes out of the block. So we gotta get that fixed. So we're gonna go ahead, get the camera set up. Battery is about to die, so I'm gonna shut her down, get a battery swapped over, we'll get it set up and we're gonna get working. So we're hooking the battery up, we're gonna see what happens. Got all the wiring together at the connector here, got the fuel pressure sensor repin, so we're we're good to go there. So we're just gonna try and key it up, see what the wideband reads, and see if the new sensor gives us a good reading or if we gotta send the reference signal from the innovate to the infinity. So just waiting so we can key this guy up. Alright, I'll go ahead and pick or turn on the yeah, accessory. The wide band can key it up, we'll see where it's at. That's what we're gonna wait for. So wait for the ECU to connect. Now you didn't download it and install that tune that Soto wrote yet, did you? No. Okay. Because that one's going to be the one if we got to switch the wideband input. You got the USB plugged in? Did you not plug it in? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. Nope. That would make sense. That should connect automatically. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. There, you go. there it is. Still 15? Still reading 14.8, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still reading 14.8 for some reason. Brand new wideband. Yeah. Different part number and everything. All right, well, I guess we'll get that moved over. All right. So you gotta take that switch panel back off, huh? Hold on with the battery.
So we're getting there. Uh, we got the map wires been verified. We did have a circuit that we crossed up, so we got that one corrected. We found the lead that we needed to for the. What are you looking for? Oh. We found the lead that we needed to for the wideband input. We got that switched. We got the calibration loaded. So now Josh is hooking up the fuel pressure switch. We're gonna put some fuel pressure to it, crank it up, see if it'll start and read uh, wideband. So it, it does show what our wideband shows on the gauge. So. We just got to see if that's going to reflect in the software or not once we actually put some fuel to it. So we're making progress. We'll try and start it and we can at least see what the Innovate reads. And if the Innovate reads the same thing as the Infinity and we're reading a good air fuel value, then we know we're in the right spot. So we're, we're uh, trying to make progress anyway. So we got our wiring cleaned up. It looks like a mess right now because we got leads and everything random. But I just got some extra wire looped over here for the innovate feedback to the ECM so once once we know that it's gonna work I'll shorten it and I'll, I'll shrink wrap it and I'll make it right and we'll lay it in but for now I just got you know an extra couple feet of wire hanging on it just to make it over there so we can work with it so as soon as he gets that hooked up we'll see what we got gauge reading or we got the infinity to read exactly what the innovate shows us so we took a base file we got a good start up we got some good data that we sent to Soto it is still trying to command 1380 but for some reason it just sits at 1080 1090 so we're gonna we're gonna have him look at the file see what he's got to change see if there's any corrections he can do or just throw some numbers at it maybe it's just not hot enough or, or for some reason that it's trying to correct itself I don't know if there's a minimum coolant temperature that the ECM needs to see before it'll start adjusting fuel. So I mean that that might be the case of why it's idling so fast right now. But 
we do have good readings, so now we just gotta wait and get that file back from Solo. We'll throw it back at the car. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna get the interior button back up, get the cluster back in, get the steering shrouds and everything back on it. Uh, clean everything up under the hood while we're waiting on that tune file. And if, if we get it back in today, we'll, we'll, we'll throw it in the car and see what it does. But if not, then, I mean, it's something I could just walk Josh through it and have him do a startup, show him how to save it and everything. So that's something I could probably do remotely from home if I had to to help him out with it. But so we're, we're actually we're making progress, so that's that's something. So like I said, now we're I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to finally install or do the final install of that wideband reference wire now that we know that everything works. So that way I don't have to go in and try and cut it and lose some distance on the wire or anything like that. So here we go. Alright guys, so we got the wiring done on the EAM, we got it all cleaned up, I got my gauges rewired, all I got to do is wait for Josh to get an ATA circuit or an ATA fuse so I can go ahead and, and give uh, battery power to the oil pressure gauge that way we can hold the memory because it is a pro sport perform or premium gauge where it has the peak hold and the minimum setting so it's got that beep and everything. So if you lose battery power when you turn the key off, the beep starts up again, you don't lose your minimum setting for the light to start flashing so we got to get that taken care of. We got the oil line changed. We got the fuel fitting changed for the regulator or from the rail to regulator line. So that doesn't have any stress where it's pushing pressure against the TPS connector. We did get with Soto. We got the wideband and everything figured out. We did make some changes in the VE table and the wideband does respond. So we know the map is reading and everything. So what we think we got going on is a vacuum leak. So Josh is gonna put his hands on a smoke machine uh, sometime this week so we can try and get that tested and figure out where the leaks are. And if you can't get one, then we'll just have to build a boost leak tester and then we'll test that next weekend when I get back out here again. So we got, uh, we're, I mean, we're making, we're making a lot of strides. We got the interior back together on it too. So that's pretty much there. All we got to do is stuff the module inside of the glove box. We got to get the knee bolster panel under the steering column. But as far as that goes, I mean, it's, it's pretty well close to done. And then we got to add some trim around the hole here for the fuel lines where they go out of the tire tub. But that's no big deal. We can get that all taken care of. So it is getting late. I'm gonna go home, I gotta feed my dog, so me and the wife are gonna get jetting out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get all our stuff out of the car, get warmed up and get heading home. So you guys stay safe, stay clean. We'll see you guys at the track and you have a good one, thanks. <laughs>